Howdy y'all, this is Yuki Openings here with some more packs today. We got uh, five more for Cyberhetic Horizon, or as I like to call it, the Saiho pack. And then of course, also there's four more packs. They're not OTS packs this time, I promise. They're actually Shadows of Valhalla. Uh, this one has a sticker here because I went to my local card shop to buy these and this was the last one they had, so I actually bought them out. Ha 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 ha! At least till their next shipment. So let's uh, let's start with the Cybernetic Horizons first. And I don't have my lovely assistant here for the auto focusing, so we'll see how this works out without her at the time. So let's go ahead and open up our first pack here, and we'll leave those over there. <coughs> All right, first pack we got cards, lots of them. Okay, that'll work for now. So we got Goki Moonsault, Restoration Point Guard, uh, Crusadia Arborea. Oh, well, there's our super. I almost forgot that we get supers in these packs, at least a hollow in each pack. Uh, so what he does is he's a level 4 Wind, Winged Beast, uh, 1800 attack and 600 defense. You can discard one Dragoonity card, equip one Dragoonity one Dragon Dragoonity Tuner from your deck to your to this card. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Dragon Monsters. So you can't summon yourself um, a Cyframe Lord of Mega or anything like that. But you can still summon, you know, Crystal Wing because he's still a dragon. Man, I can't keep this. There we go. I'll have to keep it that far. Uh... You can only use this effect of Dragoonity Senatus once per turn. Oh, that's its name, Dragoonity Senatus. Uh, if a Dragoonity card cards, uh, you control will be destroyed by card effect or battle. You can destroy one Dragoonity card equipped to this card instead. So for a Dragoonity deck, that's a uh, that's pretty good card. Uh, for a rare, we got Ruin, Supreme Queen of Oblivion. Uh, we got Crusader of Reclusia. And the other ruin, Angel of Oblivion. So, uh, before she grew up into the queen. We also got Cybernetic Overflow and World Legacies Mind Meld. Okay, so... Not too bad, I guess, for a first pack. So we'll set that right up there. Toss that aside. Alright, now for the second pack. Ooh. Ooh. Bad card. Bad. Stay. Alright. We got ourselves Mini Boral Dragon. Restoration Point Guard. Again. Uh, Crusadia Drago. Oops. Skipped over some. Uh, Noble Knight Custian. Kustinen? Kustinen. He's a Noble Knight card. Is that all we care about right now? Let's just say yes. Uh, his hollow actually looks kind of nice. Uh, this is what he does. He's a light level 4 warrior, 1000 attack, 2000 defense, and he has a lot of card text. His effect reads, if you control a Noble Arms equipped spell, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon it Noble Knight Kustian once per turn this way. A Noble Knight monster that was Synchro, Exceed, or Link summoned using this card on the field as material gains this effect, which is, if this card is special summoned, you can normal summon one Noble Knight monster during your main phase this turn in addition to your normal summon and are set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except for Noble Knight monsters. Whew, what a mouthful. Alright, for the rare, we got a White Stingray. Uh, we also got a Metaphys Decoy Dragon. A Ballista Squad, I've been looking for one of those, so I'll put that in a pile I actually want to hold on to. And then, uh, okay, there's two more. Crusadia Regulix and Crusadia Aborea. So, not bad for the second pack, I guess. For the third pack, let us see what we got. <clears throat> Alright. 
we got another Goki Moonsault. Oops, I have a bad habit there. There we go. Uh, Perform a Pal Hand Samurai Gear. Okay. Demise, Agent of Armageddon. I wonder if we'll get his rare. It never fails. Never fails. Cybers Magician. Ah. Uh, because I haven't read it off before, I'll read it this time. So what he does is he is a level 7 Dark Cybers Ritual Monster, 2500 attack, 2k defense. You can Ritual summon this card with Cyanet Ritual. You, any damage you take is half, including effect damage, of course. But you can't half the same damage twice this way. So if you have two of him up on the board, instead of 800, you're going to take 400. You're not going to take 200. Uh, while you control a link monster, monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters you control for attacks, except this one. Also, your opponent cannot target monsters you control with card effects, except this one. It'd be really nice if this is a link at this point, huh? Gotta keep that in. Uh, if this card battles a link monster, it gains a thousand attack during the damage calculation only. So go up to 35. Uh, if this card in your possession is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can add a Cyber's monster from your deck to your hand, including itself if you want. For any any deck you have that in, you can search it if they kill it with Regeki. Uh, we didn't get the Demise, but our rare is going to be Cyber's Witch. We got Crusadia Leonis and another Crusadia Reclusia. And then, man, I'm never going to get this number right. Uh, we also got Metaphys Decoy Dragon and a Boral Regenerator for the Borals. Alright, now for our fourth pack. Alright. So, we got Dragoonity Coos, Cosmo Brain, Dragoonity Legion. Okay. So we got Umber Mirage, the Elemental Lord. So pretty much like all the Elementals, you can only special summon it by having exactly five of its attribute in your graveyard, in this case, Dark. If it's special summoned, add one monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of this dude once per turn. And then, of course, like all the others, if it leaves the field, you skip your next battle phase. So, kind of bad. But this search is kind of nice. But other than that, it's, I'm pretty sure by the time you get this thing out, you kind of already got through your 1,500 little beaters. So, for our rare, we got Performa Pal Goldfang, uh, Crusadia Regulex, Divine Serpent Gich, uh, Cybernetic Overflow, and Turning of the World. So that's it for the fourth pack. I'm just tossing them over there now because I'm just that lazy. So, the last pack for Saiho. All them hoes. The garden variety, guys. Mind out of the gutters. This is a PG channel. I mean a G channel. This is, this is general audience. Oh, by the way. Eh. Alright, for our last pack here, we got zero extra link. Uh, another Coos. Uh, another Cosmo Brain. Another Legion. Hip. So hip. Hop. Hip, hip, hop. Hippity, hop. Hip. Ho show hip, hip he show ningen. Okay, I butchered the name. So it's essentially like a Mrs. Radiant, but for light, you just need two light monsters. It's a fairy, it's got 1400 attack, link two, points that, that way and that way. Uh, pretty much all light monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense, and all dark add monsters on the field lose 400 attack and defense, and if this is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target light monster in your grave and add it to your hand. And you can only use that effect of this guy once per turn. So if they kill him, you can add him back. So for our rare, is Goki the Giant Ogre. And then for our last few comments, is Goki Tag Partner, Mythical Institute, and Center Frog. Center Stage, me boy. Center Stage. Okay, so, I mean, we got an Ultra. It's not the best, but it's something. So let's see. 
hop right into our Shadows of Valhalla. Something interesting. All right, so we'll, we'll open up this pack with the sticker last. So the first pack here. Now this is only five pack, five cards, four supers and a secret. I don't know how they do the secrets. Like if it's in front, middle, or last. But our first card is going to be the Mermail Abyssus. Abyssus. Mermail players, help me out here. Uh, we got Cyber Dark Impact, Magical Meltdown, Yellow Ninja. Ooh! <gasps> Shadow Fusion. I love this card. Shadows are my, one of my fave decks. I'm actually super glad I pulled this. And it looks really nice. All right, so that's a pretty good start, personally. So let's see what we got in the second pack. <clears throat> All right, so we got a Kashik Magician, uh, Invocation. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, White Dragon Ninja, uh, Mist Valley Apex Avian. Ooh, okay, cool. Uh, Ninja Grandmaster Saizo. I actually heard someone who still needed this card. So I have one of this card, uh, I have this card for them now. I can hold on to this for them, all right. That's, that's a pretty good pack. All right, let's, uh, let's keep it going. A choo-choo. All right, third pack. <clears throat> Technically, what, seventh? Seventh pack, nine, there's nine. So eighth pack, technically, eighth, eighth pack. I'm just tired, I swear. Alright, so in this pack, we got another yellow ninja, uh, Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. I'll try and see if I can focus a little better. Uh, another Mermail, Abestus. Ooh, Twin Twisters. Now that's a good pull. Secret Rare Twin Twisters. That's really nice. Alright, so so far we've been getting pretty good pulls out of these. All right, let's see what their last pack has in store. <sighs> let's do it. All right, are we, are we four for four on that? No? Okay, but we got a play set. Yeah, okay, so we got a play set of this guy now. <laughs> okay, that works. Uh, so we got also got Armor Ninjutsu, Art of Rust Mist. If I can ever get anything ever in focus here. There, that's better. High Speed Roy Chambara. Another Mist Valley Apex Avian. Ho 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 Oh, it's that chase card. Alistair, the Invoker of Madness. He's so crazy, he can just scream on the inside. Actually, that is pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell them this. Oh wait, they can watch it for themselves. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay, so for a recap, uh, that last pack that they had gave us an Alistair, so that's pretty sweet. Um, we didn't really get too much good stuff out of the Saiho, except, I mean, technically we got an Ultra, so that's something, right? Focus is real. Um, we also pulled a Twin Twisters, an Invocation, which is pretty sweet. Uh, personally, one of my chase cards I'm kind of after. I just need one more, or I'll just have to find it in my room. Uh, the Ballista Squad. Um, so, it's really good in the Layer of Darkness deck, because if you have the Layer of Darkness field spell, you just play this, true, but you're all your opponent's monster for the turn and then you blow up one of their own cards so technically it does require a little bit of setup but what that deck does is kind of wants to have their field spell out anyway so all you gotta do is let's say that's already out there and you're just kind of going off of this one card technically your opponent negs two although realistic and you neg one although and the um tribute is cost so that's nice and then um Technically, you're kind of going even there if you want to consider the field spell as part of your cost and that. But, hey, get rid of opponent's problem monster, get rid of their spell or draft card. It works, right? So anyway, then we also got 
the Ninja Grandmaster Saizo, so I know someone's going to be excited for that. And then we also got a Shadal Fusion, which I'm excited for. And then we got two of the Mist Valley Apexes and a playset of this Mermail. Ta-da! So, that'll be it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, see you next time. And that's a wrap.